Hello, we're going to make this lovely cup holder today. You can make it out of pallet wood. You can make it out of regular lumber. I'm using a one by four uh, pine lumber and a piece of quarter inch plywood. Um, here are the tools that we're going to be using today. I have my marker just to make sure that it fits in my hole. And this is the bit that I needed for that and I would tell you what size it is but I honestly don't see it marked on here so it's pretty much almost the largest one I have sorry about that and then I have a countersink bit the countersink is going to help so that the holes are flush better for painting sanding uh, also on the bottom when I drill holes and and screw in the bottom it won't scuff up your surface if you have it on a tabletop uh, Phillips head I don't need. Stick that back on my drill. A square head because that's the kind of screws that I have. And I have a small bit for um, pilot holes. Again, I don't know what size it is. I'm sorry about that. I have two inch wood screws overkill. Yes, yes it is. And one and a quarter inch. They do go in like butter when you buy wood screws, but if you don't have wood screws, actually these are... Uh, um, or drywall screws, but they work too for the project. All right, so I have the one by two, one by four already cut up into uh, pieces. I have four of the same size. If I was to measure them, they are four and three quarters inch in length. A four by one isn't, or one by four, sorry, technically isn't four inches. It's three and a half, if you notice there three and a half so my piece is not square it's a rectangular piece and I'm gonna put these together to make my box that will fit one stack of the regular solo cups all right I have these wonderful corner tools that I like to use make sure that I have everything lined up nicely when I drill my pilot holes and then I can have my countersink bit in and I can countersink those holes. Sorry about the wiggly camera. I can chain it out my bit, put it in my square head wherever I laid that down. I do not know, Just found it. I'm going to get my two inch wood screws. Again, two inches is an overkill, but you know, hey, some people like to have a lot of parties. This bad boy is not going anywhere. Now, when you're drilling your um, screws into the wood, my drill has a, a one and a two as far as power goes. Okay. Um, it also has this here so that I can adjust. This I've never found to actually slow down my drill on this particular model. But if I flip it to a one, it's less powerful. And you want a little bit less power when you're drilling in your screw just because then you won't press down too far. Notice when I get to the bottom, I kind of just kind of pull my trigger back and forth a little so that this is flush not too far in if it goes too far in it's going to tend to split your wood all right and do that for the other four sides as well and move these get my drill out of the way here okay it's being difficult for me this right now there we go all right so because I made all of these cuts the same size, if I was to put it here, my cup wouldn't fit in. It wouldn't be a square. I have to put it to this side. So this is actually longer than this one because it's just the length of the width longer, basically, of the wood. This other piece will be going right here and it'll make my square. So again, I'm going to try to line these bad boys up. I'm not going to tighten it down too tight right now just to make sure that it's lined up and flush. 
Once it is, then I will tighten it down. I'll use my pilot hole drill. And then I'll switch my other drill. I have more than one here. It's just quicker and easier. Back to my countersink bit. I'll switch that back to my two. Give it a little more power. Switch my bit, easy enough. Switch my drill back to the one. Grab my two inch screws. Don't be afraid to use little muscle, ladies. Don't be afraid of tools. Give them a try. Safety first. Again, sorry about my wiggling camera there. Now you notice at the end there it kicked back. Um, normally I wouldn't have it on a sheet here, but it's easier for you to see everything. And it wouldn't have done that for me. But I could have clamped this down. Clamping it would have been the best move just because then it's not going to move on you. You don't have to worry about it wiggling. I have a crap ton of uh, clamps over here. So if you ever decide you want to come to my studio and make one of these yourself, you're more than welcome to. Uh, play around with the power tools. Have some fun in the studio. We don't always do paintings here at A Glass of Art and More. We do clay projects. We do wood crafts. We've actually made some pallet furniture before. I had a friend come over and she made herself a sofa table and a, a well, the she uses for her TV and a coffee table. I had another friend make um, what is a a stand for a microwave and a mini fridge, I believe, at a school for her boss. I had another friend come down from Watertown and make a teacher's podium, and her husband made a sofa console. And that was fun. All right, back to my countersink bit again. These really do go pretty quickly. They don't take very long at all to make. Switching back to my other drill bit. Now whatever type of screws you have is the type of drill bit you need, obviously, ladies and gents. Now, if you're accident prone like my husband, sorry, I keep hitting that. Um, you want to avoid putting your hand anywhere near the dr drill. He likes to drill his fingers and whatnot. All right, I'm going to do this last side. Then all we do is we place this on the bottom. I drill a pilot hole in the middle of each of these. I screw in four with the countersink bit, and then I put in four of the one and a quarter inch screws. And then it's done. I'll sand it all down and paint it and it'll be done.